This video is the first of a series of videos on how to create a RESTful API using Python and Flask. In this first video, I'm going to cover how to do GET requests for this API that we're going to build. So first, let me show you what I have set up so far. Um, up here, I'm just importing the relevant items. And then down here, I'm simply running the app in debug mode. So here's the important part for uh, what I have so far. It's just a route on the index that simply returns message it works in JSON form. So let me show you it on in the browser. And there it is, just message it works and it's in JSON form, it's valid JSON. So now to show you how to do get requests with data that's close to real, I'll start by creating a list of dictionaries that would represent something that you would normally pull from the database. But I'm not going to cover database connections in this video because um, it's out of the scope for it. So I'll create this list of items, I'll call it languages. And in this list, I'm going to have a few dictionaries representing the data. So name, and we'll have JavaScript as one of the languages. And then another one would be Python. And one more would be, let's say Ruby. So now that I have this list, I want to return everything in this list. So I'm going to create another route. And the route for this, let's say lang. And then I only want it to work with git requests. So I'll add git to the methods. And then I need to define a function here. I'll call this return all, even though it's not the best name. And then I'll simply return a JSONified version of languages. But first I have to wrap it in another dictionary, so I'll call it languages as the key. And as the values, I'll just say languages. Let me save that. The server should have restarted. It did. And refresh. Server still up. So let me go to the lang endpoint. And now you can see everything I had in that list was returned here. So for the second example, I'm going to show you how to get something directly out of it, or at least something that matches everything. Since this object is fairly basic, I'm going to search by the name. And by getting the name, I'll return the dictionary associated with that name. If it had more data, it would make sense. But um, by just returning this one dictionary for whatever language we choose, uh, you can see how it will work even if there are more key value pairs in the same dictionary. So for the second one, I'm going to define another route. This time it's going to be lang again, but it's going to have a parameter in it. So we're going to first specify the data type of the parameter. So it's going to be a string, and then we'll give it a name. So I'll just call it name because it matches the keys in the dictionaries up here. The methods will only be get again. And then I need to define a function that this route calls. I'm going to call it return one. And it just needs to take in all the values that are used as parameters. So in this case, only one name. So what I want to do with this name is search the languages list for any dictionary that matches the name. And if it matches the name, Put it into a new list and then from that new list I can JSONify the element and we can view it in the browser. So the first thing I need to do is search for all the dictionaries that have the name. And in this case since it's unique, the, the search is only going to return one dictionary. So I'll call this one langs and Here's the syntax for searching. It's one way to search through all the items in the list and return a new list with only the items that match. So let's do language for language and languages, which is the list up here. 
if language name oops. If the language name is equal to the name so basically if the language name is equal to the name that's passed into this return one function which comes from the API endpoint then it creates a new list with all the matches so I need to return the match that was found so I'm going to return the JSONified version of let's say language and since this is a list that gets returned I want to only return the first element of the list, the zeroth element, because the name is going to be unique in this example, and we know that the language is going to be at that location. And before we move on, I can see one issue. This should have the leading slash. So let's save it and run it. So it changed. And let me show you Lang again. And then I'll say lang python and it returns the one dictionary with the name matching python. And in a real example, there would be more data in here. So for python, you'd have more keys and values, say like a version, so 3.5 and other keys that you can have values for that make the data make more sense. So in the next video, we're going to cover post requests. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching.